I want to go to the account admin. This upper left hand area is typically what we refer to as the module selector. So I'm going to select the account admin module. And there you can, of course, see my list of current projects. You can also see my account name. That's a fantastic account name. <laughs> so we probably want to edit that too, right? What are we going to do here in this uh, area? First, I wanted to identify locations of where we're going. So as I mentioned, in this module selector, we can go to the account admin. Once we are in a project, the module selector gives us an additional option there to go to the project admin. So those are our two key areas today. Let me start back at the account admin area. And generally we work top down in this left-hand navigation. So we would add a, add a member. So currently I'm highlighted the member panel that shows up over here shows me information about that particular member in this account. So let me add another member. I've got a, a sample person here. Uh, these are personas I use for my training labs. So I type in the email address or copy and paste if you've got it, you know, an Excel document up maybe. And I'm simply going to click add. And just like that, I've added that person to the account. If I click on the person, I can assign them to a company. Or if they were part of a different company, let's say uh, Prime Architects, I could create a company in my account called Prime Architects. And now they're assigned to that company. The company, the role, the access level, these all play uh, into how that particular individual has access to various parts of a given project and or the account. Uh, the company doesn't necessarily drive anything, but the access level can drive, uh, can give them account administrator access. The role can give them various permissions within a project. So I'll make this person an architect for the moment. There we go. The status says not invited because I haven't actually invited that person to a project. I've simply added them to the account. Now you can certainly do that, um, you know, adding people pretty straightforward, clicking add members and going through the different uh, properties there. The one uh, account administrator access level is pretty straightforward. There's a second access level called executive that provides options for those individuals to see across data across projects. So scheduling, um, are we on schedule? Do we have more issues on this project than another project? Uh, kind of, again, kind of stepping out of the individual project and looking at issues across all of the particular accounts projects. All right, so once that's, once you go through adding your members, that's nice and set up. I can slide down here to companies and now you can see there is the company I just added. Now, uh, at the moment, pretty straightforward. It didn't, uh, I haven't done anything other than create that uh, company. Roles, this is where we define um, usage uh, for uh, a project. This is the out of the box list of roles, but you can certainly uh, customize this list. Maybe I'm only a design firm. Maybe I don't need a superintendent so I can remove that role. Uh, let's say I need to add a role, maybe you know, architect, architectural lead or something. I don't know, I'm making up words now. Architect. Good Lord, architectural lead. Anyway, <laughs> once you type whatever the role you want, you hit add, and now it's available in that list. 
Now, each role can have a default access level. Are they a member to the project or are they an administrator to a project? By and large, most people would just be members. The general paradigm there is you would want one person, maybe two, to be a project admin. Uh, so someone like a BIM manager by default would be a project admin. So that's where we set up roles. Uh, ultimately, we're going to end up in project templates. I don't have any at the moment. Again, this is all under account administration. Uh, library really is something that supports Revit more than uh, anything else under shared parameters. Uh, and then there's a couple of other aspects that we're not going to be able to get into today, uh, forms and cost management that really actually suit the build product more than the docs product. Uh, 